Lady have her doctors encourage vaccinations and regard them as the reason behind health improved in the United States? There is still a great debate on the efficiency of vaccinations and requirements held within the United States. The choice to accept vaccinations impact everyone in the audience, as well as their family, their children, and anyone they may come in contact with. My name is Jennifer Wilson. Working in child care has given me some knowledge of how important vaccines can be. I have also gathered credits and information from the Center of the Disease Control, which provides public information regarding the treatment and the prevention of diseases. The main, many benefits of vaccinations outweigh the few potential risks associated with taking them, as well as the risk of contracting the diseases that are created to prevent in the first place. The main points I would speak about are the benefits of vaccines, the risk of vaccines, and the risk of catching the diseases without vaccines. I will briefly introduce types of diseases and provide you with factual information to compare benefits and the risk in both cases regarding vaccinations and why they are now or why they are important to everyone. Just start back here. I will now briefly introduce different types of diseases and the benefits and risks in both cases regarding You turn your page while I'm reading. It makes me lose my spot. I will briefly Oh my hands are down. I will briefly introduce the different types of diseases and provide you with factual information to compare the benefits of the risk in both cases regarding vaccinations and why they're important to every single person. Vaccinations are more, more beneficial to the future health of our families and society than even the slightest risk of a vaccine side effect or an epidemic breakout. Did you know that there are 14 vaccine preventable diseases to protect your child from between the ages of This was in the ages. I read that during the ages of 1935. I didn't even need it. I started to do some chop chop. No, I don't need that. Did you know there are 14 vaccine preventable diseases to protect your child from between the age of Or the age of two, not between the ages. Mm -hmm. Did you know that there are 14 vaccine preventable diseases to protect your child from before the age of two? The diseases include diphtheria, hepatitis A and B, influenza, measles, mumps, pertosis, which is also known as whooping cough, brucella, which is chicken box. Rubella, and a few others, most of which have been forgotten about due to vaccine preventions. That in itself is a major benefit. According to the Center of Disease Control, vaccinations help with the control of disease. Diseases that vaccines prevent can be dangerous or even deadly. Vaccinations also help protect our children from these serious illnesses and the complications involved with such diseases. The vaccines reduce the risk of infection by working with the body's natural defenses to help it safely develop immunity to disease. As with all medicines, there are risks and side effects, but the Center of Disease Control states that the risks are small and very short term. The risk of taking vaccinations include minor redness and swelling from the shot where the shot is given, allergic reactions, some may be severe but are very treatable. There are no long-term effects at this time. As stated by the Center of Disease Control, the risk of taking vaccinations include an outbreak possibility and it's risky to yourself and to others around you. Contracting such diseases can lead to serious complications, such as losing limbs, deafness, blindness, paralysis, and death. 
despite the previous arguments against vaccine risk. There are still more benefits with using the vaccinations versus the risking the disease itself. Did I say disease? Did I need to read that line? No, you mean quit burping in between it. Am I burping? You don't realize you're doing it? No. Just that light right there. Oh, that's air. Well, it's coming out like a burp. I need to start over. No, just don't be so loud doing it. I don't think I have to pick up. But I was reading off here and it wasn't down. I told you I can't look straight at the thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where was I at? Disease. Despite the previous arguments against vaccination risk, there are still more benefits with using vaccinations versus risking the disease itself. We previously appraised most of the 14 illnesses in their vaccines, noting the risk for taking the vaccines as well as the risk level to contracting an illness now that it was 20 years ago. We learned that... I didn't make sense now that it was... Okay. We previously appraised most of the 14 illnesses. I need to wait a minute because I probably can't cut that up. We previously appraised most of the 14 illnesses and their vaccines, noting the risk for taking the vaccines as well as the risk level to contracting an illness now than it was 20 years ago. We learned that some illnesses had very little risk of any serious damage, while others also not existed today. With each vaccine, there are concerns as to how long the immunity will last. We also took a look to the occasional side effects reported for the various vaccines, whether it be a mild reaction, short-term, or a long-term reaction. Childhood vaccinations prevent illness, death, and higher medical costs. The benefits of vaccination are not limited to just those who are vaccinated, but the more vaccinations also occur means lower disease and death among those that are not vaccinated. This is a reaction caused by herd immunity. However, those not vaccinated impose a higher risk of people that cannot receive vaccinations to the age such as newborns. Childhood vaccinations should be mandatory within the school system, hospitals, child care centers, and other places where those who choose to be non-vaccinated can come in contact and pose a risk to those who do not have the option of being vaccinated yet. Once again, we have evaluated the risk on all sides and gathered the pros and cons. What are you laughing at? He's sitting over there. He's trying to get this over with. He's weaving all the way for the fall out. Yeah, go. You day sitting there ready to grab you. <laughs> You're sleeping that bad. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna focus on that. Yeah, and your eyes weren't closed either way, Zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna act Okay. The Center of Disease Control has provided a chart that shows the percentage of vaccinations with children of 19 and 35 months in 2015. Once again, we have evaluated the risk on all sides and gathered the pros and cons for vaccinations. Do you really want to risk the life of your healthy newborn by allowing them the chance to contract a disease that they cannot fight off? That risk may seem small now, but when you have to sit by and watch them suffer helplessly knowing that it all could have been prevented, will that risk still be small? Oh. Now I've got to try to splice it together. About time. Y'all take a break and see if I can splice it together. 